A brilliant ride from New Zealand. And they have won the team pursuit in great style. They come to the line. New Zealand have it. How's this one going to play out? New Zealand against New Zealand. Gold and silver between them. Simply a matter of who gets which colour. Here we go. 407, 129, the time to beat to take the record. 407.7. Harris Gate down the middle. Gate into the front. Gate is going to take gold again. Four times. A gold medalist. Aaron Gate, unstoppable at the Commonwealth Games. A brilliant ride from the New Zealander. Well deserved. And in the end, unquestionably the fastest of the sprint. What a ride from Aaron Gate. Aaron Gate, you got four gold medals. Team Pursuit, 4,000 IP. The points race, the road race. You did the Jesse Owens, mate. And now you're in Spain on holiday. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, I wish it was a holiday. We're kind of just based here and um, was five hours out on the bike today, so straight back into it. <laughs> oh, so it <laughs> Oops, the five. Sorry. Yeah, it was I thinking that you're lolling in the Costa del Sol or something, mate. Five hours on the bike. Oh, I wish I was. <laughs> what are you preparing for? Uh, I've got another race this weekend with, with Black Spoke on the road in France. So it's kind of just, um, although it was nice to have a, a couple of days off, it was, um, yeah, kind of got to keep the legs ticking over because we've still got just under two months of the road season left. And then we've got the track world champs just around the corner too. Well, it never stops people. Aaron Gate, who was, of course, carried the flag so proudly at the closing ceremony, four golds. I'm just going to run this by you again, mate, because I want you to hear it out loud. <laughs> you know, the team pursuit, the 4,000 individual medley, the points race, and then you get on the bike and ride on the road. You do the road race. I mean, you've done the Jesse Owens at the Commonwealth Games, mate. It's extraordinary. Have you had any time to be able to sit there, though, Pinch yourself and go, my God, look at what I just did. Oh, well, like kind of, yeah, well, out riding today, I was sort of, um, took a moment, like it's sort of my first quiet time to myself and just, um, yeah, still hasn't really sunk in, to be honest, just thinking back to how the road race played out. It was, um, yeah, literally, it couldn't have gone any better. Like I, I just one of those days where, I had the legs to, to back up exactly all the tactics that I wanted to execute and to be able to follow through with it and cross the line first was just such a surreal feeling. Look, people that know a hell of a lot more about this than you know I you know I could ever write on the back of a poacher's stamp have said to me that your tactics in that race, as you mentioned, were just absolutely perfect. You ran out of teammates to help you, but your timing was impeccable. Did you know right throughout the race that you would have that chance right at the end? Um... No, it sort of came and went. Like early on in the race, it was definitely a team effort. Like we had all six of us up there um, following moves because it was a rel relentless race right from the start. And um, there was a few times that I sort of got caught back behind a few too many riders. And luckily the guys were there to, to follow the moves. And we, we went into the race knowing that we were going to have to be aggressive. And um, the reason the six of us were selected is we were all guys that could finish off a, a move, a breakaway move and, and sprint fast past you know, most of the other guys in, in the field, if it did come down to that. But when it was um, 15 and just me, I was like, okay, this is, uh oh, this is a bad situation, <laughs> especially right. when there was three English riders up there. So um, I was pretty isolated. So I was actually trying to slow down the the move in the hope that either it would come back to, to regroup and the race would reset and we'd start again. Or um, by, by reset, I mean like, yeah, a chance for the, a new breakaway to form or that somebody was going to come across from, from the team. But unfortunately, the, gr the group was just too strong and the English riders were definitely motivated to keep it going with the, with the strength and numbers they had there. So just had to make the most of that situation. And um, yeah, just <laughs> kind of lucky I pulled it off. Aaron Gate is with us on the platform. That adrenaline rush, does it really hit when you're looking at the line going, hell, here we go, sprint? I mean, does anything go through your mind or is it just legs? Um. Oh, it was um, the last uh, three laps were pretty relentless. Like the race was actually quite controlled through the middle section when everyone was just kind of rolling through. And then the cat and mouse, because we had such a big time gap, the cat and mouse started a bit earlier than usual. So 40 odd K to go. So the last hour, it was literally just me jumping around trying to stop stop the wrong combination of riders, get away from the, from the group of us. Um, and that last two Ks, though, it was just the, the mindset shifted to just patience and let somebody else do the chasing because I knew that if I was going to win, I'd have to let um, somebody else do the, the crux of it. And it's kind of that 
game of chicken in a way that you're like, oh, okay, well, if he's not going to go, he's going to go. And that's where right. I kind of leveraged off the fact that the English did have teammates and I was able to let them um, be the ones that do the chasing. And then as soon as I was just – like I was just watching the – the meters to go boards slowly ticked down and we got to 500 to go. And I was like, well, this is unreal. This is the current situation I'm in here. Like sitting third position couldn't be any better. And I just knew I had to wait until we get close to that 200 to go sign and then just unleash every bit of energy I had left in my body and try and get to that finish line first. It's a 3D chess game is what you're describing, mate. The, the head game of it is just <laughs> fascinating. I'm loving every second of it. Wow. And the, I mean, it's not just riding the bike here. You've actually got to go through all of that as well, don't you? Not just the emotional stress as well, but the mental pressure of trying to calculate absolutely everything. And it comes down to such an almost photo finish. So, I mean, that's how close the margin is. That's why I love cycling as a sport. There's just so many um, avenues of it. And I think it's a big reason why it does have such a big following in Europe and is sort of gaining momentum in New Zealand too, because guys that have a chance to, to watch it and experience it can see that... Um, there is just so many elements to, to it as a sport. You, you physically got to be at your absolute best, but you also have to have the bike skills to throw throw a bike around and um, yeah, be able to think far enough ahead to, to how things are going to play out. Um, and and it's also a team sport as well, so it's kind of got a bit of everything. Aaron Gate is with us. Four gold medals at the Commonwealth Games. Can I ask you a really dumb question here, mate? Because I've just been. I just wanted to know the answer. If you took your track bike out onto the road. What would happen and how long would it last? Could you even ride it on the road? <laughs> um, I mean, if you got to an intersection, you'd be a bit screwed because you'd probably get T-boned by a car when you tried to stop and you couldn't because you got no brakes on it. Right. Um, but if you got that far too, that would be another bonus because we've got um, basically woven silk tyres with latex inner tubes and a very, very thin bit of rubber glued on those wheels because they're on the tyres because they're only designed for riding on smooth um, wooden boards so and they're pumped up to 220 psi and relatively speaking a car tire is about 35 to 40 psi oh, wow. so they're, they're rock hard tires so you hit any little stone you probably get thrown off the bike <laughs> okay oh, um, thank you for telling me is there a favorite medal out of the <laughs> out of the four of them is there one that you actually think yeah that's the one i wanted more than anything else Oh, it's um, it's such a difficult one. Like I've been asked this question a couple of times now, and the the road race one was the most recent one, and the one that was most unexpected. So it's it's one that yeah, I definitely hold very dearly, and I'm very very proud of as well. But the the team pursuit one was the main main one we went there to win, and to be able to to pull that off and execute um, a pretty seamless ride, I felt I owed it to my teammates. And, um, yeah, to be in physically in, in good condition to deliver that, I felt pretty proud of that moment to stand up there with on the podium with um, three great mates and, you know, other guys waiting in the wings that could have ridden amongst us too. That was a pretty pretty special moment. Individual pursuit was a, a bonus as well because it's something that I've only sort of um, – I work on when I get the opportunity to and it's kind of the, the race of truth on the track. So to be able to pull that one off too was – was pretty awesome and, and break the both the Commonwealth and national record in the process too was um, pretty exhilarating and then one of my favourite races on the points on the track is the points race so to win that it's like yeah this is why it's so hard for me to, to pick one because it's just there's um, so many so many great memories over the course of that uh, week and a half of racing. Aaron Gate is with his four time gold medalist at the Commonwealth Games and here he is back on his bike he's got more work to do from here on in and then the track champs of course at uh, later on in the year, uh, you know, one of the <clears throat> one of the things are, that that fascinates me as well is is how do you go from the track to the road? Is it a different kind of fitness? You've just described the bike as a most completely different kind of vehicle you're driving. Is it a different kind of of training that you have to do and everything else? Uh, there's definitely there's elements of um, of crossover and there's elements of stuff that's really different. But the thing that I've it's taken me a long time to get there, but they have also always worked hand in hand, but it's kind of been a bit more periodized. But as I've got older, I've, I'm able to handle a lot more um, of the aerobic sort of sheer hours on the bike um, that I couldn't previously amongst a, a track campaign. So during our three-week training camp, um, building up towards the, the track specifics, which is 
a lot of shorter, sharper, high power, high torque efforts on big gears on the track. Um, I was still able to go out on the road and supplement that with some road training and um, keep the gym ticking along and other bits and pieces that previously would have hindered my ability to show up the next day and still get the work done on the track with the guys. So being able to balance that is something that's definitely been a, a massive help, but but also the, the track does help the road too. Like my um, my sprint I produced at the at the road race on um, on Sunday, according to my, my power meter, was my best best sprint of the whole year, training and everything included, and being able to do that at the end of a, a hard uh, 160k race, I think, speaks volumes of you know the, the the actual fitness there. So it shows the training that we were doing and the explosiveness on the on the track does does genuinely flow into into the road. Oh, it says everything about you. And I just wanted to close by saying I've been replaying the quote after talking to you um, when we asked you about, um, you know, coming in from Japan and, 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 you know, having the crash and everything and what your mates said to you. And they said, you know, learn to ride the bike in a straight line. And, <laughs> which is just, it's just gold. It says, you know, there's no way anyone was disappointed with you and there's no way you owed anyone anything. I mean, you know, and I know that you know that and I know that your mates think that as well. It's just... It's, in, it's incredible to reflect on what you've done, mate, and, and all the very best for the future. I don't know when this is going to end for you, um, but you've just painted your name in lights here for the rest of your life in New Zealand. Congratulations. <laughs> Aaron, you deserve it, mate. You, you're, you're Just what you've done is absolutely amazing. Oh, thank you very much, mate. Truly appreciate it.